Unfilled to introduce DSPy Build and Optimize Agentic Apps, built in partnership with Databrix and taught by Shen Tian. In this course, you learn how to build and automatically optimize your Genia applications using DSPy. Many of us have spent hours hand tuning prompts. DSPy is a wonderful framework that many developers are using to do this optimization automatically, often writing prompts that we would not have thought of writing ourselves, but turn out to be much more effective. One example of where this is particularly powerful is if you're optimizing a complex agentic AI workflow that combines multiple components like to use, retrieval, and generation. Say you want to switch your LLM that your agent uses to a new, better LLM that was just recently released. If your prompts were optimized to the original LLM, this can result in worse performance. But with just a few examples for evaluation, DSPy can automatically optimize your whole system the new LLM. One other underappreciated use of DSPy is as an authoring framework for new applications. If you want to build, say, a sentiment analyzer, using DSPy, you might specify the inputs, say, customer reviews, as well as the outputs, say, sentiment ratings. And DSPy can wrap around this and automatically generate prompts for you that are already lightly optimized for different LLMs and thus makes you more independent of specific LLMs implementations. I'm delighted to introduce the instructor, Chen Xian. Chen is a software engineer at Databricks and co-leads the development of DSPy. Thanks, Andrew. In this course, you will learn how to build complex data apps using DSPy's two main building blocks, Signature and the Module. Signature describes what your program packs in and what it gives back. For example, in Andrew's sentiment analysis example, a text stream will be the input and the integer representing the sentiment is the output. Modules then use these signatures to ask the language model questions and get answers. To learn these concepts, you will use them to build a sentiment analysis app and also a fun name guessing game. Sometimes things go wrong in your app and it's hard to tell why. You will learn how to carry out tracing, meaning analyze every step of processing in your app. For this, you will use MLflow which is an AI ops tool that streamlines the development of Gen AI applications. And its tracing feature captures the input and output of each intermediate function inside your AI program. You'll build a travel booking assistant and trace each part of the app, including the LM cost to a usage and a conversation with the user. You will then learn how to improve your app automatically using the DSP advisor you will see how the DSP optimizer can optimize your prompts across multiple components in your app. You will see how this works via illustration of building and improving a question answering rug app on Wikipedia articles. DSP is an important tool. In fact, I'm even seeing a growing number of job ads that ask for DSP skill. I think you find this a powerful addition to your tool chest and hope you enjoy the course.